Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and even though this looks like it's in 3ds Max, it's going to be covering the basics of optimizing geometry or optimizing models with inside a modeling program. So when you're looking to actually optimize uh, models within 3ds Max or any modeling program, you want to make sure that you're looking to reduce the poly count where necessary, or the triangle count, the vertex count, however you want to look at it. And you can see I have this uh, object selected on my left hand side which is a cardboard box I've made and you can see that it's made up of 44 triangles 24 vertexes and you can see that I've got one at this side which is made up of you know say let's say over double the amount of vertexes and triangles and there's no point to it really just like with any object a lot of this is very basic knowledge but I'll just go through it to sh um, sort of show the example so you can see on this side with these edges that I I don't really need in my object. I can double click it, remove it, and it really doesn't affect the overall look of my object. So I'll delete those three edges out and we pretty much get back to where we were in this and it's not really affected anything yet we've reduced the polygon count by half. That's just one example just to literally look at every model that you make try and take the edges or the triangle count down to as low as possible whilst keeping the shape and sort of the resolution that you want for your object because it doesn't really matter in this instance one thing that I will mention for unity specifically is that we want to look at the vertex count even though that's currently less than the triangle count now every time we've got say a normal map on an object or we use smoothing groups on an object that's going to be taken into account when we go into unity and say that the vertex count is only 24 in your modeling program and say we UV map this like I'll show you if I put an unwrap on this model you can see everywhere my green edges are this is where there is a seam that I have UV mapped my object and that counts as uh, a vertex split so we'll be sort of doubling up the count when we go back into unity and to make certain hard edges it'll again add to the vertex count really people try and scare you with uh, polygon counts I don't think it's as big an issue it's just remember to keep it as low as possible throughout one thing which is a, a, a big thing when when I've made games and things like that is say we um, get a cylinder and we want to make this cylinder it's good to optimize this with an idea of keeping it as low as possible so we don't need any height segments because that doesn't affect the shape at all we can actually you can see that it's currently 72 triangles now and unless it's an asset which you see in your face on what a lot of companies call a hero asset something that you will see up close and or you might see it all the time is there is no point this being so high because if it's only a small object you're never going to see you could take the sides down and we could make it yes it's going to look more boxy but for the sake of this, you can't even really tell at first glance, especially if it's obviously not going to be something really massive. One thing that I always like to do with items and objects within when modeling and bringing it into Unity, say this cardboard box is never going to be uh, tipped upside down or done anything. It's always going to be positioned like this within the engine then what you can do is what we could do is we could delete the bottom from the actual object itself so say we delete the bottom we've then optimized the model further and we've lost some triangles out the bottom and it's as simple as that same similarly with this cylinder we do the same we can grab the bottom if we're never going to see the bottom or maybe if we're not going to see the top we're there we're saving faces where they might not be necessary and another example of this if I take that back say we're modeling something which geometry intersects with other geometry let's say what I'll do is I'll duplicate this object I'll just rotate it around 90 degrees and I'll sort of scale it up so it looks like you can see that maybe I've made some pipes here this is just a quick example and you can see that I've put this pipe inside this pipe now you'd notice like I said before so the polygon which is here 
would be current would be actually inside that other mesh so there's no point to having a face there so we can again delete the face we're optimizing the model we're just taking some of the triangles away because you're never going to see it so what's the point of it being there there's just some key things to remember is to try and lower polygon counts to the best of your ability without affecting the shape and the overall form of the object um, when you're making cylindrical objects and things like that, try and make them as low as possible by removing edges where they're really not necessary. And if you intersect objects with others, then delete faces that are going to be hidden and you'll never really see. And one thing like I mentioned earlier, say you have a hero asset like I was mentioning, which one which you'd see up close. Don't be worried to give it a few extra polygons if it needs it. Consider this object that I've got here and pretend this is going to be my hero asset. Now you've got to remember that this probably this asset is probably higher than maybe it needs to be and I, we don't really have objects that are this cylindrical let's say but when I put edge faces on you can see that it has quite a lot of polygons that make up the actual mesh and yes sometimes it isn't necessary because I could remove some of these and it become more blocky but in instances where people scare you and say polygon count is a big issue, no, yes it's an issue, but as long as you try and optimize things to the best of your ability and take things out where they're not necessary, some objects can be more high poly, because you can go to hundreds of thousands, even millions of vertexes, triangles, however you want to put it, and still not have a performance issue. It really depends on what platform you're trying to aim your game towards if it's a, a pc platform then you can go into your millions if it's a mobile platform it's going to be less really it's just really dependent on that and one good thing to use in the future is say you're going to do a lot of maybe grungy materials or you're going to put some graffiti on walls make sure that you just make a plane within your modeling program or you use the quad in unity and literally you use the qu this um, quad or this thing here because all it is it's made up of pretty much two triangles when you split this um, diagonally and then that's going to be the lowest thing when you want to put decals on walls and things like that and you can reuse that object without it being very taxing at all so it's a really good idea to reuse as many things just keep it as low as possible and they're just some really quick tips on trying to get the most out of modeling and optimizing for games. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.